Madrid Marca has early access to Episodes The Heart of Sergio Ramos, an eight-part documentary series on the Real Madrid captain that will be available on Amazon Prime, is set for release on Friday following its premiere on Tuesday. Marca has been given access to six of the eight chapters and they discuss, among other things, his relationship with Pilarubol, his children, Real Madrid's disappointing 2018-19 campaign, the captaincy, the national team, his passion for music and his love of horses. Here are the main secrets of the series. It was a very funny story, Ramos says about how he and his wife Pilar Rubio first met. I dreamt of her for three nights in a row. I told this to my sister, my brother-in-law and another friend. And I said I have to send her a message or something to see if I'm lucky. I saw her as a bit out of my league. Then I took her to mine and I'm delighted to have her by my side always. We've created a marvelous family together. Sergio Jr., who is the oldest at five years old, Marco, who will be three soon, and Alejandro, who is six months old. The documentary shows Ramos singing with Nina Pastori and receiving classes from Diego El Moreo before attending El Omiguero to play the guitar. Music stays with you and ultimately, it's a way of life, he says. Flamenco connects me with my roots, with my land. It makes me feel happy. Listening to music liberates me and I feel like everything is possible. I would like to have more time to play the guitar. The idea to go to El Hormiguero was a bit scary because there's not much time to practice. And the program is live and you feel the pressure. Lucas Vasquez is one of Ramos' closest friends in the Real Madrid dressing room and the documentary shows how the pair celebrate goals together. The celebrations with Lucas first started three years ago when we had aspirations of winning the Champions League and the rest, Ramos says. It's a way of liberating yourself, motivating yourself and we've never done the same one twice. Ramos reveals that he and the winger have bets to see who can score the most goals. My personal challenge is winning the goal bet, Ramos says. The good thing is that if we both score then it's good for the team. Ramos has earned a recent reputation from being lethal from the penalty spot, with a penenka one of his favorite techniques from 12 yards. It's very difficult in my opinion because the majority of goalkeepers, the experienced ones especially, wait until the last second before moving, Ramos says. And thinking it at the last moment isn't easy at all. After having failed against Bayern Munich, I had the chance to redeem myself a few months after. The easiest way is often the most difficult. To celebrate 15 years, as a professional footballer, Ramos held a private party in a room at the Thyssenborn Imitza Museum. Among those attending were family members, friends and some teammates, including Marco Asensio, Lucas Vasquez, Jesus Vallejo, Sergio Regalan, and Luka Modric. The documentary shows Ramos' speech at the party where he looks back on his life as a professional and how he can pass on his experiences and values to his children. Ramos reflects on the 5-1 defeat to Barcelona at the Camp Nou in October 2018, with his brother René. We planned the game in such a way that we gifted them the first 45 minutes, Ramos says. Luis Suarez had his day in the end. The 5-1 defeat crushed us psychologically. Eulen Lopetgui was sacked shortly after the loss at the Camp Nou and Ramos admitted that he wasn't happy with what happened. I felt sorry for Eulen, not only because of the deal we had between us, but because we got on really well, the defender says. Football was a bit unfair and a bit cruel. Football is a results game and when the tide goes against you, it's very difficult. You have to turn a page and commit yourself to Santiago Solari like we had done with Yulan. Since I arrived, I hadn't experienced a situation like that, as we were ninth in La Liga. After the bad runoff results, we appointed a caretaker coach. Being coach of Real Madrid is about living through constant stress and maybe everyone isn't prepared for this. Ramos is seen attending the International Horse Show in Seville where his horse Yucatan is crowned champion of the world in the morphological section. The things that I'm passionate about in life are football. 
family and horses, he says. Yeah Kitanda Ramos is the apple of my eye, my favorite horse. The victory was a magical moment after many hours of dedication and now, we can say that we've got the best horse in the world. My love for horses started as a child, whenever I saw a horse my family had, to stop to greet the rider so that I could ride it. A footballer isn't allowed to ride horses for safety reasons, but I was able to achieve my dream of having my own winning horse and of defending the figure of the Spanish horse for everyone. Let's block ads.